the name given unto men. Amen. Whereby all men must be saved. Amen. And that name, amen, Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Some of you saying it, but somebody needs to proclaim it. I said say Jesus. Jesus. And that name, amen, amen, amen. Yokes are destroyed. Burdens are lifted, amen. Devils have to flee. Amen. At the name of Jesus, you can invite somebody and they'll come to church with you, wife. Somebody said there's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. And when you call on the name Jesus, the lights come on and darkness flees. Amen. Darkness don't overshadow a light, but light overshadows darkness. Amen. Amen. I believe, amen, that God has a word for us on today. And I believe that the man of God is more than prepared, amen, more than capable, amen, of delivering, amen, what God has sent, amen, by way of him. Amen. We ask that you would dial your heads and your minds and your hearts, amen. Pay attention to what's being said, amen. Amen. And then go home, amen, and let that word meditate, amen, and abide in your hearts. Amen. At this time, I'd like to introduce the psalm and present to others, amen, our own Elder Frederick. Quick. Would you receive him with the right hand extended? Amen. Before you clap, extend your hand this way and say, God bless. Amen. Amen. Elder Quick. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus.
Give honor to God, our pastor and first lady in the absence, mother and bearers of Arthur's in her absence, pastor, assistant, David White, our church mother, Mother Dandridge, my first lady, Sister Quick, and all of God's people, it's always a pleasure to be in your presence because I believe that the heart of a righteous person is the sanctuary of God. And when I look around and observe God's people so diligently in his services, it still makes me proud to be in the brotherhood of the church of God in Christ. Let me do my commercial since I'm on the media of the staff. Greta New Bible Way is a nonprofit organization that participates in the world community from a religious perspective with seeks a greater social, economical, and political awareness. Therefore, we speak to a wide range of issues affecting all of God's people. And wherever you are, and wherever you are when you hear this message, if you're in the area, stop by. Some of the greatest people in the country are right here at Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. This is the holiday weekend, and I'm not going to take up a lot of time, so let me dispense with the preambles of my nature, and let me get about the business of preaching the Word of God. I thank God for every testimony, every song, and every praise that we're going to take this morning. Did you enjoy the choir this morning? <laughs> Building vocal palaces of melody and song. I enjoyed the choir this morning. You know, you can always tell how much God cares about a people by who he puts over them as a leader. And God must really care about Red New Bow the way. Only God knows how far this church will go through the leadership of this pastor. I'm honored to be here. I thank God for him. God's spirit seems to be weaving a screen and creating a tapestry, moving us towards his divine destination, moving us from the land of the dying to the land of the living. Somebody said, I don't know why you keep dancing with the devil and wondering why you're in hell. But I want you to know that the devil will take you farther than you want to go and keep you longer than you want to stay. If you will go with me, Hosea, the fourth chapter, and the first verse, hear the beginning of the reading of God's word. Hear the words of the Lord, you children of, of Israel, because there is no truth no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heavens. The fish of the sea also shall be taken away. But you know I have discovered something about God. Even when God says something heavy, he says it in a nice way. Over the second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, in the 14th verse, he says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I forgive their sins and will heal the land. Basically what he's saying is, even though you're jacked up, I'm going to still take care of you. Isaiah, the first chapter and 18 verse says, Come and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Even though... God looks at what's going on in the world today. He's staying, he's, he's still saying, if you love me and you keep my commandments, I'll still restore the land. Second Timothy, the third chapter, the 16th verse says, All scripture is given inspiration of God 
that is profitable for doctrine, for proof of correction, for instructions in righteousness. I'm serious about the word. So I make sure I don't take it for granted. There are several ways to approach a text in the Bible that is topical teaching, and topical teaching is when you think of an idea and you go to the scripture and find the text to match your subject. What we normally do with the text is exegete instead of exegete, which means we read into the text our own beliefs instead of pulling from the text what God has deposited into the text. Because so many times we approach the text, we don't come empty-handed. We bring baggage to the text. We come to the text with our own preconceived ideas, things we picked up from other folks, stuff we heard from songs, things we got from unbiblical sources. We bring baggage to the text. So we have to be careful with textual preaching and topical preaching. Textual preaching is always great because you read the text Amen. and you preach right from what you see. Amen. But because of how the Bible is written, you have to even be careful with textual preaching. Amen. Because you see, the Bible was written in original Hebrew and Greek language. And it was changed to the King James modern version. Amen. And in the Hebrew and the Greek language, there are 12,000 words. You're looking for a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7